a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see I got the whole family with me today Say hi, Bianca. Hello. Hi, Bianca. Today we're here at the red, white, and blue thrift store to find some clothes. Cool clothes. Clothes, and then also whatever you're doing. What are you here to look for? You okay? Movies. Do your tummy hurt still? No. I don't know. A whole case of Pringles. What do you think's gonna happen? Look at your Snapple shirt. Snapple in the house. Hashtag Tux on Wheels. Tux on Wheels. Hashtag Snapple. Yep. Hashtag Let's go shopping. Here it is. It's not a myth. And their new one is should be opening this month. It is June. They gotta ask them where it is. <sighs> yeah. No, I don't think so. It's still the same. The parking lot is still full. So, yep. It is real. It's not like Sasquatch. It's here. Shoes. I have my helper. <laughs> oh, Christmas slippers. Oh look, Gabriel, they have pink Converse for $25. That's kind of spendy for the thrift store. Like, mine brand new for like 40 something. That's a little spendy. That's kind of cute. What are you? I like you for me. I don't know. Mmm, purses. It could be a real addiction. Supposedly a coach for twenty dollars. I'm trying to peek and see if there's some like cool vintage ones. I do need. Uh, I was gonna say a couple of totes or something because I forgot to put a box in my car. Halloween. Oh look, here's some vintage glasses. I have these actually at home on the shelf. These Christmas glasses. I haven't listed yet. <laughs> Any tea coats. That's an interesting. 1998. Kind of reminds me of I Love Lucy. <coughs> Let's see here. Alright. Oh, I see a little Pyrex down here. I think it's Pyrex anyway. It is. It is. $2.99. I'm gonna grab that. We found a Pyrex, Gabriel. Pyrex. What else is down here? Oh, that? Nope, that is not. A spoon. That is very pretty, though. That little snack dish. Wouldn't that be something if they just had some jadeite sitting on the shelf? That would be something. Um, okay. Oh, I think I see. Nope, it's not a paperweight. Oh, wait, that's my daughter. <laughs> I do have a daughter. Since 2007. <laughs> All right. I see what we have over here. Those are kind of pretty. I don't know who that is. I think I does that is do I hear dad talking? He always finds someone to talk to. Home for the holidays. That's cute. King Arthur Flower. Well, I had to skip a lot of the aisle because there was people there. I couldn't really push them out of the way exactly. <laughs> what is that? Is that regular? Yeah. It's heavy. Okay. Oh, I hear him. He, he did find someone to talk to. I hear him just a chatting away over there. Oh, what are these? Napkin holders. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, stamps and embossing folders. Oh, a paper punch. 
$7.99. Grab that. What else do we have in here? This is like, let me I gotta set this down. Gave her a walked away. These horse cups. Series by design. Oh, medieval times, okay. This has a bunch of little Christmas in it. Here, Gabriel, I'm gonna give you this. Huh? Found this craft lot. Oh, she's got the cart. Let's see what's on it. Uh, what do we have over here? Toast. These are all Bath and Body Works. These are the um, samples that they sell once in a while. Oh, sorry. Okay, I have to show his cart. Look at this. One of our shoppers, one of our shopper friends, found all these stamps. I'm jealous. But there's this with a little bit of stamps in it. I used to go up there. $7.99. Oh. This one has a few area. little stamps in it. I used to mess with uh, land all the What else do we have? Oh, I'm so jealous. So jealous. Alright, now that everyone has kind of moved away, I have a little more room. Oh, look at these little, um, I don't know what that is, but they're like, hold on, they look like two little gnomey guys. Oh, I hear the card again, and a duck, and a hamster, or something. But gosh, if those Bath & Body Works weren't $7.99 a piece, they sell them cheaper, at Bath & Body Works, excuse me, cheaper, when they're on sale. Alright, I'm gonna go check and see what's on this cart what's going on over here we're gonna check out the baskets oh, that's your apon um the guy that knows the longer burger baskets is here he's the one that had all the stamps in his cart so if they were here they are gone now um let's see it's a fongen burger he said have. These look nice. They're really light. Glass. It was busy over there, so I had to I had to go. There's a who? Oh, a hand? Oh, cool. He spotted a hand. The horses are really neat. They're probably like $5,000. You know who makes this? Mikasa? I don't know. Hobby Lobby. Oh, Hobby Lobby. All right. Oh, look at this. $54.99 for that one. Um, probably. There's a sled. That's cute. You could like, you know, fix these up for Christmas. Put a little something on there. Jewelry box. So this is where I like to find like the little boxes and stuff. Can't see anything when Aaron steps in front of me though. <laughs> but yeah they have um sometimes really cool boxes oh here's some down here let's go this way it's a little tin jewelry boxes this one's made to look old but it's not it's still cool though just little bows you hang on the wall oh you hang them you hang them. All right. What else? She probably gave it like two seconds and got overwhelmed. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if it's missing things. Two ninety nine. Made in Mexico. 
Like, see the holes? Do you think it's missing something? Yeah, something's broken. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Look what Aaron found. Oh, that is what I need. That can be your official job. That's, that's neat. That is neat. So I just do this while you're having a sale? Yep. That's it. You got it. This is... These are elephants. That's kind of cool. Some interesting stuff up here. Brass, like, um, what you call it? Candle holder. All right, I might go look at the toys, grab bags and stuff. I'm gonna see what's over this way. We hit the Barbie aisle. Um, I'm surprised Bianca's not looking at these. Or maybe she already did because she's with her dad. I don't know. It's up there flashing on those TVs. Their other TVs don't work. The $5 one said it actually had issues of it, but this one doesn't. Does it have a remote? Um, are they supposed to have remotes? Yeah. Ponies. Okay, I don't see anything quite that I want there. Let's look over here. Sometimes, oh my gosh, I'm still salty about the stamps. <laughs> so jealous. So, But sometimes they have the stamps in here. Oh, look at all these. Wow, that's a good deal. $4.99. For all the Star Wars people. That's cool. What is this? Hmm. Oh, Pokemon. Seven ninety. Look at this, Gabriel. Look at what I found. Twenty-five percent off. Look at this. Four ninety-nine. All these Star Wars people. Dad wouldn't be like that. He said, "Dad, he's making sure you know he doesn't want Star Wars anymore." But I'll just put it on eBay then. Oh, look at that. We have the new Buzz movies coming out. If you can find the original Toy Story toys, those do well. We have some more card games. We've been playing cards a lot, but we have quite a few decks of cards now. <laughs> we were given a few. Oh, these are for video games here. Skylanders. More cards. Oh my gosh, that's loud. Gabriel's over here looking for a uh, DVD player. Sending me, what are you sending me pictures of? I sent you pictures of all my DVDs together. Oh. We could just get a universal. Well, I'm just saying, like, if you're laying in your bed or something and you want to press pause or play, you'll just have to get up to hit the button. Yes, but we'll have to see what dad says. Because um, I don't think... There's a thing right there where you could plug it in and see if it turns on. At least. Uh, this, what's 25% of 10? $2.50 off. <laughs> Gonna see if that's, this works. So, power button. It says on. Now that would be the eject button. Don't hold your fingers to it. It goes... No, this whole thing would open. Oh, okay. So, a, a movie would go in there. It says no disc. So, it's reading it. Open. Okay, yep, it works. It opens. Close. Turn it off. Well, you can take a chance if you want. It works. They don't take returns. Just so you know. Told that we plugged it in and pressed all the buttons in the works. Okay. I don't know where they are. I want to put this in. I think I'm going to grab this. I don't think Dad will want it, but... um, Yeah. Might be a, like a lot on eBay. Those uh, Nintendo stuffed animals just sold. Remember the Nintendo lot? Mooncat? It's called Mooncat. Yes, that no. 
<laughs> oh, look at the dollhouse stuff. Oh my gosh, Bianca would have died as a kid. She loved that kind of stuff. Yes, she did. Okay, let's go find your dad and your sister. Oh, look at that big, um, that guy. Oh, that's a giant Eevee. That's large, $10. Okay, he's gonna teach us something. Whoa, that's a clown doll. I've been told by Desi, you look here to find out what it is. The doll Liza. artworks, 1996. 497. So you'd have to look her up like, look, she's painted like a clown, but she said something about like teeth. Yeah, but more the uh, composite, composite dolls. One. This one. Oh, is this one okay those are porcelain you can look at them and tell that that's um, porcelain? Uh, yeah that that they're not composite and to make sure that the eyes and arms don't go like all oh okay caddy wampus oh there's another cart well they're kind of have all carts all kinds of carts yeah, today, today. Hmm. i absolutely love this chalkware but $80, <sighs> I mean, I guess it's not horrible. It'd be a lot more at an antique store, but I feel guilty buying that for myself. This is really pretty too, but they want 125. So that will be there for a while. I'm calling it now. It will be there for a while. These, this pattern looks familiar to me. Um, What? Waste ba bellissima pattern. Okay. So it's a little waste basket. Oh, there really wasn't much over here. Is this a Yoda Chia pet? Grogu is his name. Oh. Sorry. Grogu. Chia pet. Because that's important. Not the fact that he was a Chia pet. Oh, look at these little bunnies. Cute. I know, it's beautiful. I was just showing them that. 125. This place done most of the damn Yeah, I was showing them. That's a little crazy. A little bit. But this is what we have in our cart so far. Nothing to really write home about. Because I need some stuff for the sale, so... The, oh, okay. She's. See, it goes in 2017 and so is it 2020. Oh. So they drew That's pretty every cool. Year on their desk from their childhood. If only I had my table for my childhood, my mom threw it out in the trash. Kind of, maybe. But I saved everything else. You're welcome. All right, guys. So here is what we found at the red, white, and blue. It wasn't. Oh, it wasn't huge. Um, we were going to be in the area, so we stopped by. Thank goodness, because sometimes when we had to have to travel really far, it's an exceptional kick in the teeth when you don't find anything. Um, but I'm glad we found this. Like, we found something. Um, it's, it's like I walk out with less and less and less. And they've been, they told us that they've heard from so many people this same thing that... Um, they're not quite the same as they were. I think because they're kind of, they're opening a new store and they're having to share their items, but, um, but at least I'm not the only one that kind of thinks that. But um, I know you guys probably think I'm nuts because you look at the video and you're like, oh my gosh, look at all the stuff on the shelf. But it does just how it is. Anyway, so I picked up this Pyrex that I don't know the pattern name to. Surprise, surprise. But it was pretty inexpensive. You guys saw us grab that, so... There's that. Um, it doesn't have a lid or anything, but they seem to do okay without it. I grabbed this little native type piece, little touristy piece. Um, it was wherever it was sold, like $27.95. I don't know. I have to look up the mark. Um, sometimes you could do like an image search on just this, like the type of pattern that it is, and it'll come up with the tribe and the artists and stuff but um i love this kind of stuff it doesn't sell very well for me but i'm always attracted to it i should just leave it be <laughs> then this was interesting so you have a cactus on one side 
and then some ladies on the other side. And someone glued feet to it, but you have a signature there. And it looks like it says confetti rain. Like maybe that is the uh, pattern. Possibly. But I thought it was pretty interesting. Then these are like little espresso cups. How cool is that? Um, we have China and we have... Oh, what it, where is that one? What I um, don't want to uh, mispronounce that. But we picked those up. I've not sold these little cups, so we'll see how that goes. We got two for the price of one of their bigger cups. I got this date stamp. Uh, probably is like out of date, basically. Like it probably extended its life. But they're really cool when you do junk journals or things like that. And since I don't scrapbook pictures chronologically, um, obviously I can go backwards in my photos and still be able to use this. I just wouldn't be able to probably go forward in the time frame of my picture taking. I got this little Anna Griffin uh, little roller here. So you push these down and it would have like a little plate and you roll um, like a little die through this machine and it makes cuts into the paper. So uh, if that makes any sense to you, it's a little tiny machine. Usually they're really like big and bulky, but this is a tiny little one. Um, yeah, they had another one there. I think I showed it in the footage, the cuddle bug, but I just, I grabbed this one. I have a little one like this as well. The Tim Holtz one on my desk. So I don't have to get out the big machine to cut little things. It'll cut the, cut it for me. Uh, then Aaron spotted this guy. I think we got a fish as well. Yep, we did. It's over here. Uh, we got this art glass fish from there. It's a nice size. It's a really big fish. Usually they're very small. But yeah, we got that. And then, oh yeah, this. I was going to show you this. We got this really cool sort of Jack in the Pulpish type vase. I love the orange and I do believe it glows a little in there. Oops, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it does glow a little in the dark with the black light on. <laughs> and then this is what I kept trying to get to. I was like, oh, I can show you this. No, wait, I have something else. But I grabbed these craft bags that have uh, different stamps and things in them. Most of them are filled with these embossing folders. So you would roll it through a bigger version of this machine and it'll make the impressions on your paper, on your cardstock, squeakers, don't scratch the table. But in here is like a ton of stamps and like someone had like these wooden stamps. Um, they're just, it's all mixed in everywhere. That's a banner. What is this in here? Oh, acrylic blocks. You put your stamps on. They have wooden alpha stamps. It's just all mixed together. And I was like, I was crying when I saw the other guy with all those stamps in his cart. I was like, no. So Aaron was like, if I would have seen you and known, like, because I was telling him how I was a card maker and stuff. It was like, I would have just been like, here, you want them? But different people, you know? There's, so there's all kinds of different stamps in here. Some I'll use. Some like this one isn't really my jam. So I would like probably sell that or put it in a lot. I like this one, the clock. But yeah, so all kinds of little crafts. But most of the this bag, well... Uh, most of that bag is filled with those embossing folders and we have one paper punch in there See all these embossing folders And some stamps so he didn't grab those. I don't think he knew what this stuff was but um, Anyways guys Thank you so much for watching be on the lookout for these types of things like in our live sales if you guys are ever interested in anything you can go ahead and like shoot me an email or message one of us on instagram um 
you know, if you're interested in any of these things. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Squeakers is licking his feet and says thank you as well. Um, but yeah, we'll talk to you guys in another video. Step back